on the lookout for the next adventure, he travels the world. All these great hunting experiences are organized without promotional consideration and not supported by corporations. They are inspired and facilitated by himself because of his love for hunting and nature. The story of the record-breaking hunter is told here through a series of exciting hunting episodes. The journey of our adventurer begins. Months of preparing. Watching. Stalking. Preparing the shot. Taking aim. The hunt is on. Tajikistan Adventure. Episode Hunting for Pamir Ibex. This time, our hunter has opted to wear Swed Team hunting gear with Zambalan shoes. He chooses this rifle for the hunt. We are nearly ready to head to the hunting ground. First, we check our weapon. The months of preparation have paid off. By the light of the old Russian off-road vehicle's headlamps, the hunting party sets off. The temperature is around minus 15 degrees. We keep encountering obstacles on our journey to the hunting ground. After crossing a river, we reach a high plateau where we assemble our Swarovski spotting scope. It's not long before we catch sight of our first Pamir Ibex. We identify some large bucks and our pulses start racing. As we edge closer, another glance through the scope reveals a buck who's a suitable target. But we lose sight of him again. There's a sudden disturbance. The ibex appears again and it's a suitable target. Now it's all about careful stalking and finding the right position to take a shot.
The increasing altitude means lower levels of oxygen, and we find it harder to breathe. We quickly approach the buck that we have targeted. Only the ibex grazing on the ridge could give us away. Our ibex is still grazing happily in the Tajik morning sun, confirms Yuri, who is monitoring events from a distance. Just a few paces more now. Hopefully, we'll get close to the ibex without it noticing. But, unfortunately, we still can't get our buck in view from this position. We just have to cover the next bit of terrain, and then we should be okay. And the hunting gods are indeed smiling on us. The ibex comes into view, grazing in the golden morning sun. Now we have to move fast. It all runs like clockwork. The red rock is loaded, a suitable firing position is identified, and the Huskamore optic is adjusted. Due to the steep angle, our hunter has to correct to 580 yards. The oberst wird dann nach links guckt, nicht der untere, sondern der obere. Okay. Jetzt okay. schau. Jetzt wird er gut. A perfect streamlined shot over 765 yards. The caliber 28 nozzle proves effective, and as the shot is fired, the ibex falls to the ground. We are all thrilled, and we can hardly wait to get a close-up look at the ibex we have bagged. It only remains to offer hearty congratulations and relive this adventure in the first sunlight of the morning. We are excited and look forward to our next adventure.